Hey folks, another very chilly day across the valley. Tomorrow will be another. Today's the first, I guess. These are the current readings. 46 in West Lingo right now. 49 at Port Isabel. Still 50-51 in McAllen, Rio Grande City. Even Browns is down to 49. Wherever the light rain's falling, that's where it's a little chillier. And overnight tonight, we drop down into the low to mid 40s, and tomorrow we just don't rebound. The high temperatures stay in the 40s all day long tomorrow. So count on another cold day across the area with that wind picking up out of the north again tomorrow. The light rain, the drizzle continues. It's just going to be another messy day across the entire valley tomorrow, just like today. The normal high is 74. We're not going to see that for a while. 46, 52. 58 on Saturday, but still well below normal. Of course, the record's not going to be threatened. This is radar, and notice most of the stuff that radar can pick up that's heavy enough to pick up is from about Westlaco eastward to the coast. West of that, there's still some mist mixed in with that, but it's very, very light. Yeah, you almost don't need your windshield wipers. It's so light, but once you get to about the mid valley, it thickens up enough that you keep them on for a time. Now, cold conditions will continue tonight. The clouds, light rain and drizzle. I think everybody will see some overnight tonight and into tomorrow. Same kind of thing. A day like today, cloudy, windy, chilly, damp, drizzly, messy again all day tomorrow into tomorrow night. Models continue to suggest that the entire atmosphere cools a little bit more first thing Friday morning, like pre dawn. The entire atmosphere, except here at the surface, probably going below freezing. Stay above freezing here at the surface. Anything that falls from the sky will try to melt on the way down. Could a little piece of sleet or a little snowflake get through that? Sure, a couple could. For the most part, you're looking at misty drizzle. But if you see a little flake falling from the sky, that's why. The whole atmosphere cold enough, except down here at the ground where we are, where temperatures will be above freezing. So things will try to melt, and most, if not all, will melt. But you might get lucky and see a little bit. In the meantime, by Friday afternoon, we think the sun will come back out. Clouds will clear out and be with us then all the way through the weekend and into next week. Sunshine will take over, and that will help us warm back up. Take a look at how much rain we're expecting. And if you look overnight into tomorrow, most areas pick up another quarter of an inch to a third of an inch, something like that. And then tomorrow night and Friday it gets a little bit heavier as a little disturbance moves through the flow and some places could end up with close to an inch of rain between now and Friday midday. So over a two to three day accumulation, some places up to an inch, most places probably less than that. Good chance of rain tomorrow. Early Friday still that moisture around, but by Friday afternoon it's gone. Once it moves out, it's not coming back anytime soon. Rest of South Texas, 41 in San Antonio, 46 in Corpus Christi. Up in Dallas, it's actually a little warmer. A little sun there today, 55. But San Angelo is 39. Lubbock, and you saw the temperature there. Look how the rain is just covering the middle part of the state. It is a messy day across Texas. And this stuff just slides southward tomorrow night into early Friday. But this clearing line up here, that's likely to move through here probably by midday Friday. We'll get back into some sunshine after that. So tonight, 42 for a low. Cloudy, windy, rainy, chilly. North, northwesterly winds tomorrow. Only 46 for a high. Cloudy, windy, rainy, cold. Winds pick up out of the northwest at 12 to 25. A gale watch in effect at the coast along with the small craft advisory. Water temperatures are staying mild at this point. 46, damp and cold tomorrow. We start cold with rain and messy stuff Friday morning, but by afternoon, maybe some sunshine. Saturday, we start cold again, but bounce back to 68. And then we're close to 70 by Sunday and in the 70s next week. But nighttime lows stay chilly all the way through the forecast periods of chilly nights and very mild days. That is your updated first one five forecast.